Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica MDM. Normally whenever you go for interview on Informatica MDM developer or architect role, very basic question get asked and that is nothing but what are the different issues or errors you have faced during the Informatica MDM project implementation. Now you might have option to say that you notice the null pointer error or you saw the validation errors, but the interviewer is not looking for the exact error what you notice. What he is trying to understand is nothing but what is the broader criteria, broader issues you have noticed and what are the things you have taken care to the address those issues. So let's understand all those issues which normally occurs during the Informatica MDM implementation. Very first issue is nothing but the related to data quality. I would recommend to mention this data quality issue as a very first issue because that's where, where the actual MDM implementation start. Organization faces the data issues and that's the reason they going for the mastering the data. Data quality is an essential aspect of any master data management project. Poor data quality can lead to incorrect decisions, inaccurate analysis, and an overall decrease in the effectiveness of the MDM system. In Informatica MDM, lack of data quality checks can result in the critical errors that can affect the entire data ecosystem. So as we know, this is very important factor for MDM implementation. Now how can you address this data quality issue? In order to address this issue, it is necessary to implement a rigorous data validation process. This process should include data profiling, data cleansing, and data enrichment. Data profiling involves examining the data to identify its quality, consistency, and completeness. Data cleansing here refers to the process of removing or correcting the errors in the data not in the application. So these errors or invalidness in the data can be a duplicates of the record or it can be incomplete data or it can be an incomplete data type. Some sources sending integers, some sources sending varchar. So we are we can correct those in during the cleansing process. And the final is nothing but the data enrichment which involves adding the new data to the existing data set to improve the quality or completeness of data like using the standard version of the country code this is one of the example of data enrichment so in addition to these processes it is critical to establish the data quality matrix and implement data quality rules so data quality matrix helps to measure the effectiveness of the data validations process and identify what are the areas where we need to improve Data quality rules can help to ensure that the data meets certain standards such as what should be the format for a specific field, how to achieve the completeness and accuracy of data by using third party tools such as address doctor and so on. So you can develop these rules in Informatica data quality tool. To ensure such data quality checks for its effectiveness, it is necessary to involve various team members. It includes all the stakeholders, it includes the business users, data analysts, data stewards, and developers. Business users can help to define this data quality requirements, whether we need to have like 10 numbers or we need to have the hyphens between the numbers for the phone. So those kind of rules will be defined by the business user. So definitely we need their involvement. On the other hand, a data analyst can help to design the data validation process. For example, email should be accurate or SSN should be a certain number or should be excluded for invalidness. Those can be implemented with the help of data analysts. And that when we discuss the data business users or data analysts, we should not forget about the data steward. That can also help us to enforce the data quality rules and also improve uh, help us to improve the uh, data standards so in short lack of data quality checks can have serious consequences for the informatica mdm project 
So to ensure the data accuracy, its completeness and consistency, it is necessary to implement the rigorous data validation process that includes data profiling, data cleansing, and data enrichment. By involving all these stakeholders and implementing data quality metrics and the rules, organization can ensure that their MDM system is effective and reliable. So this is one of the issue which I personally have noticed and also many MDM implementer noticed and that is the data quality check. Now the next thing or next issue is related to the data model. As we are proceeding from one step to other step, we might notice different issues, right? So the data modeling is the next step after the data quality analysis. So during the data modeling, one of the critical issue occurs and it's nothing but mismatch of the data models. This occurs when the data model used in the different systems are incompatible with each other, which leads to inconsistency, various errors and misrepresentation. Mismatched data model can result in inaccurate analysis, decision making, and ultimately decrease in the effectiveness of MDM system. So you might have the party data model in one system and the party role data model in other system. So it is very difficult to manage this different or mismatch of data, uh, data model. So you have to make sure you have the proper data model. So how can you address this data model mismatch issue? In order to address this issue, it is essential to establish a standard data model that can be used across all the system. The data model should be designed to be flexible, scalable, and adaptable to the changing needs of the organization. Sometimes I have noticed in many projects, existing data models are very strict. Like for example, they have the phone column, then they have the cell phone column, then they have the fax column, and so on. So if you want to add a different type of phone in future, you need to add a new column. So your data model is not flexible. You need to make, you need to make the change in that tables to add the additional fields for the just one data attribute. So make sure instead of using that, you can use one to many relationship between your parent and child, especially in this case, person and their phone, right? So we can get phone and phone type. So you can add n number of types of phone in that same table without modifying the data model. This is just one example. So we have to also um, uh, design uh, the by considering the integrity of the data and how it can be easily integrated to the external systems and the application. Another critical aspect of the addressing mismatch data model is the data mapping. Data mapping involves translating data structures used in the different system into a common data model. This process can be complex and requires careful consideration of the data structures used in each system. So it's another example of whether phone number is maintained as an integer in one system while the other system it might be varicap. So we have to make sure we are establishing a proper data mapping without losing the core principle of the data modeling. So to ensure that data mapping is accurate and effective, it is necessary to involve various team members during this process, which includes business users, again, the data stewards and uh, data analysts as well. Here, the business user can help to define the data mapping requirement. Analysts can help to design the data mapping and data steward can help ensure that the data mapping is accurate. So finally, it is essentially to establish the data governance processes and procedures to ensure that data is manager, managed effectively across all the system. So this is the second issue, the mismatch of the data model. Let's understand the third issue normally occur during the MDM implementation and that is nothing but incomplete data governance. This is very big issue across all the MDM project which I have noticed because it involves so many stakeholders, so many business users or so many department business lines. It's very difficult to get everyone on the same page. So that's the reason 
it normally a very common issue that is incomplete data governance. First, we need to understand why we need to have this data management, data governance process. Data governance is a is the process of managing availability, usability, integrity, and the security of the data which is used in the organization. In Informatica MDM project, incomplete data governance can have serious consequences. This is very important to MDM implementation and its a success, including the data inconsistencies, errors, misrepresentation, or any inadequate data quality. So what are the data security breaches happen, regulatory violations, reproduction damage, all these problems are caused because of the incomplete data governance. And as we know, the MDM is very critical or center part of the organization. So we have to have the proper data governance. Now, how can we address it? In order to address it, it is necessary to establish comprehensive data governance framework, which include policies, processes, procedures for managing data effectively. The data governance framework should be designed to ensure that data is consistent, accurate, and secure. And definitely it need to meet the organization's needs. The critical aspect of the data governance is data ownership. Data ownership refers to the responsibility of the managing and maintaining data within the organization. It is essential to establish the clear data stewardship roles and responsibilities to ensure that the data is managed effectively. Data ownership roles and responsibilities should be assigned to the individuals or the departments within the organization based on their knowledge and expertise. I am underlying thing here, knowledge and expertise, because if you bring the new resource, new person who do not have a business experience or business knowledge, and if you ask him to do the data governance, that will lead to a disaster. That will lead to not a proper data governance. So make sure you have a knowledgeable and expertise who can work and lead the data ownership within the organization. The next thing par next thing is also important for data governance and that is nothing but the data access. We understood the what is the ownership, who's going to take the ownership, but who's going to access it and how we are going to manage it. So data access refers to the ability of the accessing and use of the data within the organization. It is necessary to establish clear data access policies and procedures to ensure that data is accessed only by authorized individuals and their departments. Data access policies and procedures should also include measures to prevent unauthorized access such as access controls and user authentication. It is another, if you want to understand apart from the data ownership and data access, what else the data governance include? It includes the data security. Data security refers to the protection of the data from the unauthorized access, use, and disclosure. It is essential to establish the clear data security policies and the procedures to ensure that data is protected from security breaches or data theft or data hacking. Yes, all these problems can occur if you don't implement data security measures as a part of data governance. So in short, as we know, there are three major components of the data governance. One is the data ownership, data access, and third is data security. Finally, incomplete data governance can have a serious consequences for the informatic MDM project. To address this issue, it is necessary to establish a comprehensive data governance framework that include policies, procedures, and processes as mentioned earlier. This framework should include clear data stewardship roles and the responsibilities, data access policies and procedures, and data security policies and procedures. By doing this, organization can ensure that their Informatica MDM system is effective and reliable. So these are the common issues normally noticed in the Informatica MDM implementation. This is the first part. 
in our next part we are going to see what other issues normally we notice during the informatic mdm implementation so keep watching this space we are going to learn so many new things thank you for watching thank you for your valuable time and if you like this if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel thank you for your support and love see you in the next video thank you have a good rest of the day